Well, looky, looky here. Look what we got here from Milwaukee. All right, guys, this is actually very shocking. Now, um, if you follow me over the past few years, you know I'm a huge fan of this light. This was pretty much the first light that Milwaukee came out um, with entering this whole lighting um, segment for them, right? Um, where it has grown from the Gen 1 version of this light, you know, has been astronomical, right? They have so many lights out now. Um, but this was really the starter for them. And I think, you know, people were finally, you know, blown away with how much and how long one of these, you know, lithium ion, you know, lights can run for, right? And how bright it could be, right? 3000 lumens. You guys remember, you know, videos that I've done on it. I mean, when my son was, you know, probably seven or eight, the whole neighborhood used to come in our yard and play wiffle ball till, you know, 9 30 10 o'clock at night during the summer um you know neighbor neighboring uh, kids and everything and I, I would put this on the top of my deck and it would light the entire backyard up and it, it was like yankee stadium um you know the kids were able to, to they loved it playing under the lights and all that now obviously um if you're familiar with that Gen 1 light, you're going to get the same amount of lumens, all right? This is the Gen 2, all right? And they actually are calling it the Gen 2 um, 3000 lumen Rover LED light, all right? Um, you got, are going to have some updated features, and this is the first time that I'm looking at it as well. Now, obviously, buying one of these, you know, a lot of people with these tools that are, you know, kind of like hybrids, yeah, it's nice that it does have that feature, um, you know, but the amount of time, you know, if, if you're buying a light like this, you're buying it because it is a lithium ion. You don't need any cords, anything like that, because if you did, then you would just buy a, you know, uh, a corded light and, you know, probably save half the money. All right. But. This one looks like it's a little bit more compact, all right? Um, now you got some nice wall mounts on it as well. Um, you probably have the same modes. It looks very similar. Um, it does look like you got some rubber overmold around the LED um, lights there. It you know, kind of looks like you have the same amount of LEDs in there. Um, let's see what we can find. See, again, I kind of thought that, and I, and I apologize, guys, because, guys, when I do these videos, I'm just going, I look, and I tell you my immediate, you know, opinion, my immediate reaction. Uh, that's the way I've done it. Um, but as I've always say, when, the, you know, I don't know if Home Depot rushes to put these on their website. I don't know how it goes. But when I kind of saw Gen 2, and if you know Milwaukee, the next generation always goes bigger. You know what I'm saying? So we saw the new Makita lights, right? Makita lights that came out, I don't know, six, seven months ago, very similar to this, you know, Gen 1. Well, this is the Gen 2, but you guys know the Gen 1 um, rover floodlight. But so even though it says 3,000 lumens here, as soon as you go down, you're going to have 4,000 lumens of true view, high definition output. And the one thing I want to say, guys, they've kept the price the same. It's 149 And actually, we've seen the Gen 1 go up to $179. So I'm not really sure if that's Home Depot pricing or Milwaukee pricing. But um, this is set at a very, you know, reasonable price. got to remember, guys, the rocket lights... You know, that are 229, 249. You know, they've come down, they've gone up. You know, you're only getting 2,500 lumens. All right. Now, yeah, you know, it goes up to seven feet, eight feet, but these you can put anywhere and you're getting 4,000 lumens. All right. Uh, up to 12 hours of runtime. Okay. That's on low. It doesn't tell you what battery, but, you know, 
On high, you're getting three hours, medium, six hours, low, 12 hours. So that is the same as the Gen 1, as in it has a low mode, a medium mode, and a high mode. All right. Uh, powered by M18 batteries or an extension cord, like I said. Um, and this is really using a five amp hour battery. So, you know, you use one of your nine high demand, you're basically doubling this. So high six hours, medium 12, low 24. All right. And again, all this information, guys, it could be different, but you know, at least we're taking a look at it and we're seeing what's going on. You got a five year warranty with this. Um, you know, the big thing is the AC port, right? Being able to plug it into a 120 volt. Um, the light head rotates 120 degrees to direct light in multiple orientations. And I want to thank David for this too, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dave. I should always start the video thanking you guys, but I, I, I get so excited. I can't help it. Uh, this is also IP54 rated for dust and water. All right. I don't believe the Gen 1 was IP rated or if it was, I don't think it was IP54. All right. So and it's, you know, a great price. So you're getting 33 percent uh, performance increase compared to the Gen 1. All right. So 3000 to 4000, um, 120 degree light head rotation, integrated keyholes for hanging uh, overhead impact resistant design three outputs just like the gen one for optimal brightness and runtime so what can i say guys you know it was getting a little dated right the gen one version um they might even have it down here a picture no they don't um i'm glad they came out with the gen two version um again because it, it really you know it started to become very um i don't want to say dated but it's just been out for four or five years and people kind of overlook it, even though I always talk about it, especially during the Home Depot live videos. I always mention, you know, if you're looking for raw lighting power for the money. Now, again, we've seen this light go as low as $119, right? And then obviously everything has, you know, gone through the roof during this pandemic again, but Hopefully things are starting to settle down a little bit, but you know, obviously with all the, I, uh, you know, up up upgrades to this Gen Two, if you're looking at getting the Gen One, definitely I don't see any reason of getting it over this light, um, not only because of the increase in lumens, not only because of the, you know, hybrid capabilities, but it looks like it's a little bit more. You know, it looks a little bit more refined, right? It looks a little bit more compact, a little bit more, you know, a little, little smaller. And you do have, obviously, um, an IP54 rating. And, again, it's, it's priced the same. So, all right, I talked and yapped enough. Uh, I'll put the link below if you're interested. And I'm sure they're going to take this off. Um, we've seen it before. Um, it'll probably get removed. Uh, Milwaukee will probably cry about it and, and remove it. But... Hopefully you can take a gander at it before it comes down. All right, folks, we'll catch you.